so a cabazudo is a giant parade head. I actually said no to leading homecoming at first because I thought a cabazudo was one of those creatures who attacks goats in Mexico. That is a chupacabra. Yeah. Turns out Joey's knowledge of dumb stuff finally paid off. <laughs> Yay! I'm useful. Oh. Diggy and I broke up when he went to Australia to be a foreign exchange student. Why could he not have taken his jerky brother Artie with him? Oh. Okay, this was not about me missing Diggy. This was about mom missing the two of us talking about Diggy. She needed me to need her. Time to give mom what she needs. One of us has to be the adult in the relationship. I was playing along for my mom's benefit before, but when I saw the basket float away, I wasn't faking it anymore. Grandma Janice is the coolest woman I know. Get this, she was an Olympic diver. Oh, I named my first basketball after her. <laughs> hey, Janice. What's up, girl? <laughs> Unless there are two. Yeah, see, the more I thought about it, the more I realized that I was not crazy pants. Yeah, I am grandma's favorite, and that woman was not giving me a whiff of the favorite vibe. That was not my grandmother. That was my great aunt Hillary, and I was gonna prove it. Willow and I are running a camp for young girls because we are so passionate about encouraging them to play competitive basketball. It also looks really good in all of our college applications, but it is mostly the passionate part. It is a Rooney custom to open one gift on the morning of Christmas Eve. Yeah. When Joey was five, he whined and whined and whined until mom and dad finally let him open one present a day early. <laughs> he also whined when he was six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> And by the time I was 13, a Christmas tradition was born. I did not know what to do. Because, I mean, on the one hand, you know, my little brother was hurting and he needed a confidence boost. But on the other hand, you know, I'm the Great Wall of Maddie. <sighs> the Great Wall had to make a great decision. And don't judge me. He's my little brother. Mrs. Snodgrass was our super mean teacher in sixth grade. <laughs> she said I had attitude problems. You scream, bam, what? One time in a teacher's face during a spelling bee and suddenly you're labeled for life. <laughs> wow. You really is sweet. <laughs> Dad and I are so competitive, we came up with a completely new game. Treehouse horse. <laughs> Later, we realized that we did not have a treehouse, so we built one. <laughs> Whose beard? What? I'm sorry, what are we talking about right now? Wow. <laughs> Since when did being vulnerable get so cute? <laughs> Dad said that I would know when I was ready. I think I'm ready. Dickie went to Australia, and then... Like a boomerang, he came back <laughs> for me. I told him that I needed some time before I was ready to talk, and I guess my time's up. So, thanks a lot, time. <laughs> Whew, Josh and I really need a day like today. No diggy, no drama. I have no idea what to say to him. <laughs> so? We all moved into Aunt Dina's. And of course, there will be no issues for me living with my Little sister. <laughs> and I already made friends with a pelican. And I'm excited about building tunnels in an active fault zone. No more tunnels! Fine. I shall conquer the skies. Jetpack, here I come. <laughs> Look out. The Roonies are taking over California. Bam! What? to turn it on.